slash fill is a command that can be used to, well, fill a large area. So if I did something like, I'm not stuck to the Minecraft, <laughs> there's something like this, uh, two, four, two, minus two, uh, six, minus two, um, sand, we get, uh, a big thing of sand above my head. It's probably not the right decision, but it's fine. Uh, in its most basic usage, slash fill, basically, slash fill, and then you use uh, from location. So you can do either a block coordinate, so uh, something specific, like we can do, um, this is the block that I'm looking at right now, so we can fill from there to, I don't know, two blocks up. Sure, we'll just make a little tower. <laughs> make a little dirt tower. Boom. We made a little dirt tower over there. Or you can use local coordinates. So this is going to be relative to my position. So in this case, uh, this is going to fill two blocks in front of me. Um, I'll show you how I know that in a minute. <laughs> this is going to fill two blocks up and this is going to fill two blocks to my left. Um, then you could do the same thing here or you can use more block coordinates if you wanted to. No problem mixing and matching them. Um, let's do stone this time. So that is fun. <laughs> Made a big old box there. Uh, you can tell what the uh, local coordinates are going to be by pulling up your F3 menu. And then there's that little crosshair in the center that you see. And so blue is going to be in the Z direction. Um, red is in the X direction. And uh, green is in the Y direction. And then these uh, correspond to this. So tilde, the first tilde is going to be the X direction. So I type minus 2. That's going to be 2 negative x, which in this case is forward, um, or I can do 2, and that's 2x, which is backwards. Um, this is going to be on the y direction, so I can do this 2, which is 2 up, or minus 2 is 2 down. Um, and then in the z direction, the third one is the z direction, so I can do 2 this, which would be 2 to the left, or whatever for you. I don't know if my camera's mirrored or not. I can't be bothered to figure that out. <laughs> and 2 to the right uh, for negative 2. Right, so that's the local coordinates work. You can also use, or I guess those would be called relative coordinates. So these are called local coordinates. <laughs> I get my names mixed up a little bit. Um, and this is based off of both your position and your rotation. So uh, I'm not going to actually explain it in this case because I wouldn't, you don't usually use it with slash fill, so it's not that important. I think I got other things that are more important and more useful for you to know. More useful for you to know. So let's um, do something else here. What I'm going to do is, um, you know, I want to get rid of all of this stone here, so I'm going to start pick one corner. If you just look at a block and then hit tab three times, you'll fill in the coordinate of that block, by the way. Just a super speedy, speedy trick, and we'll look at the other corner. And we're going to fill this with air, um, and then we're going to use destroy. Uh, and this is going to basically break all of the blocks um, as though they were broken with the correct tool um, and things like that. So you know, we'll get a bunch of cobblestone. <laughs> um, that's really cool, isn't that? It always says no blocks were filled when you use destroy. That's just the way it is. I don't really know why it's like that, but uh, I mean, obviously it filled blocks, so don't even worry about it. Clear, clear, and then let's just uh, kill all the items as well. Woo, I can't type today, apparently. There we go. All right, we can also use uh, something called hollow. So um, I'm going to need a bit of a thing to demonstrate this. So let me build a little bit of a sort of cube of wood here. And then we're gonna fill around this cube. So if I pick this block here, and then we're gonna pick this block here. And we're gonna fill with sand again, because why not? And if we do hollow, uh, what this is gonna do is it's going to fill around the area with sand. I wish probably a sandstone so it doesn't collapse in on itself. Um, and then it's going to fill the center with air. So what you'll see is we get this little box. The inside is empty. And the little wood thing that we built has been destroyed. If we do, there's another uh, similar argument. If I pick like here, and we'll just do the other corner of this guy. Ah. Nope. There we go. We'll do sandstone again. And this time we'll do outline. And what this is going to do is somewhat the same, so it's only going to fill the edges, but it will keep whatever is on the inside. It will not replace it with air. So that's the difference between those two. And the final argument uh, for this little section is keep. So um, how are we going to do this? Let me do it like here. So if we did something like fill this, 
fill here to like here with, wait, we just do logs, sure, longs, sure, oak log. <laughs> You'll see that we get this. And if we look inside, oh, I didn't write keep, did I? Nah, <laughs> all right, that's fine. Um, we could do something similar here. So if I just pick this block here instead, um, we'll just fill a couple up instead so you can see this. And then we'll fill this with, uh, with uh, birch logs, I guess. Birth logs, birch log and keep. And what this is gonna do is it will only replace air with your new block. So all of this got filled with the birch logs, except the part that was oak logs already, including the little thing that we built there. Uh, you can see it's all, all the case under here as well. And then the final argument of fill is a little bit different. So I fill this area again. We're gonna see if we can get rid of all of the birch logs. Uh, we can then do air and we can type replace. And after replace, you can type a block filter. So this takes either a block tag or a specific block. So if we wanted to just fill the birch in this case, then uh, we'll want to just want to remove the birch. Then we'll want to just select the birch logs here, birch log, and there we go. And that only deleted all of the birch logs and left all of the oak here. If I was to do this, let me just quickly, actually I can just rerun this command here. There we go. Let's do this. And then if I did something like Hashtag Minecraft, sorry for the voice crack there. <laughs> logs, and that will replace all of the logs because that is a block tag that includes every single log. That is how to use fill. Hope you found that helpful and interesting. Remember to leave a like if you like this video. Remember to subscribe if you want to see more tutorials and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.